From Yosemite to the Grand Canyon, America has some amazing national parks. To put it into perspective, there are more than 84 million acres of preserved woods, deserts, mountains and other wilderness. But there is a dark side to this unspoilt and beautiful wilderness. Since the National Park Service was set up in 1916, over 1,000 Americans have vanished without a trace in the wilderness. So, where have these people gone? The National Park Service leaves it to local law enforcement to track and solve or file away, as cold cases, of people who have gone missing. Some of the cases of missing persons can be explained by tragic accidents and other people succumb to an animal attack or fall from the top of a mountain, whilst others perish from exposure to extreme weather. But what happened to the rest? Well, they appeared to simply vanish into thin air. In many of the cases of these missing persons, there were search and rescue dogs brought in to investigate the disappearance, who either could not or would not perform their typical duties. In one case, a toddler who had lost his life was found 12 miles from where he vanished, over two mountain ranges and numerous creeks. How did a toddler manage to cover such a vast distance? The following are five stories where people vanished from national parks without a trace. Number five, Bessie and Glenn Hyde. 1928. Bessie and Glenn Hyde were honeymooning in northern Arizona at the Grand Canyon when they vanished. They were travelling down the Colorado River by boat in October of 1928 and planned to go through the Grand Canyon. Glenn was experienced, but Bessie was new to boating. The couple ran across other boaters a few weeks before their disappearance, who said that they got the feeling that Bessie wanted to turn back, but Glenn was pushing her on. If they completed the trip successfully, they could go on a paid lecture tour. So this trip was more than just fun. There was money at stake. Seven months later in winter, the Hyde's boat was discovered, seemingly undisturbed. It was upright and full of supplies, but the couple were gone. Did they leave the boat and start hiking? Did they have an argument that turned nasty? Or were they abducted? There are conflicting reports about what happened to the Hyde's, but none could confirm what happened to them. Number four, Alfred Bielhartz, 1938. Five-year-old Alfred Bielhartz was campaigning in the Rocky Mountain National Park, Colorado, with his family over the July 4th weekend, when he disappeared near the roaring and full rivers. Bielhartz had gone with his dad to bathe in the river, and from there he decided to join two family friends at a spot about 500 feet upstream of where he and his father entered the river. When everyone returned to camp, they realised that Alfred was missing. A search began immediately, expanding to more than 100 Civilian Conservation Corps members within 45 minutes, but Alfred was nowhere to be seen. A day after he went missing, a couple hiking about six miles away from the Bill House's campsite reported seeing a boy look like Alfred sitting in an area called the Devil's Nest. By the time authorities arrived, the boy was gone. The search went on for 10 days and included 150 men, including bloodhounds, though the size of the search party had dwindled to a dozen by the end of the eighth day. The boy had simply disappeared. Number three, John Devine, 1997. In the Olympic National Park in northern Washington state, at least four hikers have mysteriously disappeared from the area in the past 25 years. One of the missing hikers was 73-year-old John Devine. In 1997, Devine planned to hike into the park from Mount Baldy. The trail is a tough 24 miles, and though Devine was elderly, he was also an experienced long-distance hiker. Devine was camping with his friend, Greg Balsa. They had split up on the day that Devine went missing, where Balsa went off to hunt while Devine took off on a day hike. Devine never returned. 
The search of Divine lasted a week, where unfortunately a rescue helicopter crash killed three people and injured five others. By that time, weather conditions had deteriorated, making the chances of finding Divine even more difficult, and the search was called off. The search helicopter's crash is as mysterious as Divine's disappearance. Before takeoff, the pilot used a hand signal indicating that it was going to wait five minutes for conditions to improve before attempting it. A moment later, the helicopter departed vertically without warning and crashed into the side of the mountain. Number two, Dennis Martin, 1969. Dennis Martin was on a camping trip with his family in the North Carolina's Great Smoky Mountains National Park. He and his brothers had planned a prank on the adults they were each going to jump out on different sides of the campsite to scare them. As they jumped out, the laughter ended quickly when they realised that Dennis was missing. Family, park rangers and other hikers spread out to search for Dennis almost immediately, but he was nowhere to be found. That evening, there was a downpour, which would have made matters worse for the young boy. The search for Martin became the largest in National Park Service history. One of the people searching was park ranger Dwight McCarter, who had successfully tracked down hundreds of missing persons, including young children. McCarter was a seasoned tracker, and he was struck by the complete lack of any sort of tracks. Dennis seemed to have disappeared completely, leaving no trace at all. His disappearance is still a mystery. One possible lead that searchers didn't follow was a report from another family the evening the boy went missing. The key family allegedly heard a scream and then saw a bear with something slung over its shoulder that looked like it could be a small child. It was never known whether this was related to Martin's disappearance. Jared in Agrete, 1991. 13-year-old Jared was a boy scout who was on his first overnight backpacking trip. He was last seen on Friday the 19th of July 1991 at about 6pm when he fell behind his fellow scouts on a hike to the summit of 11,500 foot Mount San Gorgonio in South Bernardino National Forest, Southern California. San Gorgonio Mountain is the highest peak in Southern California. Jared was 5 feet 2 inches tall and was wearing green pants and a tan shirt and was carrying a canteen of water. Another group of hikers spotted Jared struggling behind and notified the scout troop leader at the mountain summit, but the leader, an inexperienced hiker, said he would pick up Jared on the way down. When the leader finally decided to descend the mountain, Jared was nowhere to be seen. As soon as the troop leader realised that Jared had disappeared, he accompanied his five other scouts back to the base camp and then hiked about five miles in the dark to get help. San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies, along with search and rescue teams, began searching a 130 square mile area of the San Gorgonia Wilderness, a rocky tree-lined terrain. Within three days, their search was focused on a six square mile area where a footprint believed to match one of Jared's high top tennis shoes was found. Searchers also discovered beef jerky and candy wrappers, believed to have been dropped by the scout, and most importantly, his camera was located. On the film roll were 12 pictures. Most of the photos were landscape scenes apparently taken before Jared went missing, but the final picture on the roll of film was a photograph of the scout's eyes and nose, taken with the aid of the camera's flash, possibly at night after he disappeared. Family members said it appeared Jared pointed his camera at his face and snapped the picture. It seemed possible that the boy had lost the camera while sliding down a portion of the mountainside. At least 70 officers, some of whom were airlifted by helicopter into the forest, and horseback riders, as well as helicopters with infrared, were deployed. Over the next two weeks, as many as 3,000 people had logged 45,000 hours scouring 50 square miles of the San Bernardino National Park from Angeles Oaks to Whitewater Canyon, but no further clues were found. Jared had simply vanished.